Hey, good morning, Rams. Jim Tabor here from room two. Just about 7.30, I would guess you're all sleeping in here on your first day of uh, summer vacation. I want to take a minute and talk about the, the feast of Corpus Christi, which we celebrate this Sunday for Mass, and just highlight a few points for you to, to think about. So the celebration of the Feast of Corpus Christi is this central idea that the church has had since the time of Jesus that we believe that the sacramental presence of Christ, his real presence exists in the body and blood, the bread and wine that's transformed through the power of the Holy Spirit at Mass. That's been a central belief of the church from the beginning. And we know this because, and this is a second reading for Mass this Sunday, is St. Paul writes about it to the Corinthians. And he's writing this in 56 AD, and this is you know, only, what, 25 years after Jesus has died? So I want to go ahead and share that with you. So this is what St. Paul writes. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body, this is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So, and then the rest of it goes on to talk about how he also does does that with the, the wine and the blood. So again, from 56 AD, we already have this, these writings that show that, you know, this idea of gathering around the Eucharistic table is a central aspect of being a Christian. Um, as Catholics, we believe and have always believed that to live in community requires us to come together weekly to receive the Eucharist. It's what unites us to Christ it's what allows us to be united to others through our union with Christ. So, you know, next year we're having this theme of community for the school. And so my suggestion for you would be maybe for this Sunday, go with your local community to Mass. Now, members of that local community could be, hey, maybe you don't go with your family to Mass anymore. Maybe they go to one Mass and you go to another. Hey, maybe intentionally go with your parents and your siblings to Mass this weekend. And the other thing you could think about doing is gathering a couple of your friends from school. Think about going to the Saturday Night Vigil Mass, you know, gathering around the Eucharistic table to celebrate, you know, receiving Christ's body and blood. And then after Mass, go out and have, a, you know, go out and have some pizza, you know, and, and extend this community celebration beyond the Mass. Uh, as I was looking up some different information about sharing with you on this gospel, I, I jumped into the catechism. And there's a line at the end of this discussion on the Eucharist that I think is really applicable to us. And this is in the paragraph 1396, where it's talking about how the Eucharist, it's the fruits of communion, and it's talking about how the Eucharist you know, unites us through Christ. But at, at the end of it, there is this discussion from St. Augustine where he talks about, you know, you go to receive the Eucharist and the priest or deacon or extraordinary minister of communion, you know, holds up and says, body of Christ. And then you respond, amen. And what St. Augustine writing about this many years ago said, for when you hear the words, the body of Christ and respond, amen, be then a member of the body of Christ that your amen may be true. So again, this idea of gathering in community around the Eucharistic table, receiving the Eucharist, becoming more united with Christ, which allows you to be better united with others, which leads to the development of community. So that's just a couple of ideas as you get ready for Mass this weekend. Hope everybody enjoys their day off. Looks like a good day. <laughs> just maybe watch some Netflix with the rain that's going on. Uh, and I hope you really have a great summer. So take care. God bless. Go Rams.